When considering which inflatable kayak to purchase, I compared this NRS Pike to the Blackfoot Angler. The main reason I went with the NRS Pike was cost. I picked this up on sale for about 800 bucks. It was also important that it came with a pump. This came with NRS's two-stage pump, and the Blackfoot Angler did not come with a pump at all. So it was more money and also required an additional purchase right out of the box. The NRS Pike reportedly had better tracking, although the weight limit was a bit less. The weight limit on this is about 350 pounds, and the Blackfoot Angler 130 is about 650, I believe, and can carry a second passenger if you invest in the second seat. I initially planned on investing in an electric pump for this, but I wanted to get some use and some testing on this two-stage pump. You can see the large black piston that I use, and then I switch to the smaller one to top off the, uh, the pontoons here. It works really well, and it goes pretty quickly. The uh, footrests are fairly easy to put in. Uh, you don't have to take the pad off like I had done in my first video. You just kind of slide it and then insert it on one side, slide it the other way, and Bob's your uncle, you got a footrest. The other reason why I chose this was because of its abundance of mounting points and lash, uh, you know, lashing points. Uh, these plates were fantastic. I picked up two Yak Attack base plates and was able to secure all my camera gear to this boat. It just seemed to be in a better position for me than on the Blackfoot Angler. I do wish that there was a better way to attach the seat to the kayak. They do give you these straps, which are fairly easy to use, but some adjustable buckles would be nice. I plan to add those in the future, but by no means is this a deal breaker. It just takes a couple extra minutes to lash the seat down. Due to the fact that the side tubes are inflated as well as the rigid floor, getting in and out of the boat is pretty easy. Uh, the boat's extremely comfortable and very stable. It doesn't track the best, but uh, you know I really bought this for fishing in rivers and in ideal conditions. It is designed to be a flat water boat, NRS uh, claims, and it does not have any scupper holes, so it is not self-bailing like the Blackfoot Angler, which is one of the other differences, but I went with this one regardless. On the water in the NRS, Pike 126. Not crazy about the mount that I have, it's a little shaky. But um, it paddles nicely so far. The tracking is not the greatest, but I knew that going into it. The portability is pretty awesome. And um, you can always buy larger skegs if you want to. The one I have on here is the one that it came with, which is like an all water deal. Right now we're on uh, Long Pond. Only ones out here, no boat traffic, no plane traffic. Fantastic. I'm gonna try to catch us some trout and see how it goes. So hang out. <laughs> we can. Yeah, now start fishing like that. Fish on. Oh, 
freaking came off. Damn it. That was a good size one, too. What a bummer. That one's on. That one's on. Creek chugs, guys. So far, we've been on the water for, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes now. And I can already tell that I really enjoy fishing out of this boat. This thing turns on a dime. So it's fantastic for river fishing my opinion and the impact of the wind on the sides isn't really all that bad it's not super windy right now there's a little bit of a breeze but it's comfortable awesome for fishing so far everything has its place net everything's easily accessible stable it's a good time you know back to fishing Beautiful. So here are my thoughts, my initial thoughts on the NRS Pike 126. I love the boat. I'm really excited to continue to use it. It's fantastic. It's portable. It's it was about 48 pounds, I think. I'm not sure if that's the hull or the hull in the seat, but it's approximately 48 pounds. And on this trip, I was able, the trip that I'm on now, I was able to throw it in the back of my truck versus deal with strapping my boat on the top, which was a huge plus to me. Um, it's comfortable and it's not that difficult to set up. It took me 15 or 20 minutes, but really this is the first time I've had it on the water. A couple of things that I would know is that the seat I have it too far forward in my opinion I should probably push it back just a little bit but based on where the footrests are there's not a whole lot of room to do that um, the reason why I say that is I think it would help the tracking a little bit and I would be in a better position with my paddle also I'm about 5'9 this paddle is uh, 230 uh, millimeters and um, I think I need the 240 that I, I left at home for this trip. So a little bit longer for paddle and push the seat back a little bit. The other thing that I would say is, which NRS is honest about, it's definitely a flat water boat. Um, even just the little small ripples. When I was out on this pond, there's a lot of slapping. So I would like to put a dry bag with a little bit of weight up front. And I think it would help with that and correct some of those issues. So the seat back just a little bit a little bit longer of a paddle a little bit of weight in the front and this boat i think is going to be freaking awesome um mounts and and mounting points everywhere um i didn't need the fish ruler in the deck but i was hoping that i would um the back has a ton of space in it too you can fit your crate and then some and usually there's you know a little bit of limited space in the back but overall i'm super excited about this thing um I'm going to head into shore now, but I wanted to share my initial thoughts and show you the setup of this boat and um, let you know that, you know, even with the limited experience, I do think that um, it's worth considering, uh, especially if you can get it on sale like I did. Um, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. And if you got any information out of it, if you enjoyed the video, uh, you know give it a thumbs up if you have any comments or suggestions questions you can put those in the comments below obviously and if you haven't done so already please subscribe to the channel we're getting close to a thousand and i'm really excited to um you know to get to that point so that i can spend some more time you know doing these adventures and trying to help folks out so that's it that's all i got thanks for hanging out we'll talk to you soon